America, here we are again. This is not a new nightmare, it is a recurring one. Why do you spend all this time running for the United States Senate? The school's campus now a massive crime scene as investigators try to piece together what's now the deadliest school shooting in Texas history. Killing at least 21 people, including 19 children. <laughs> the deadliest school shooting in nearly a decade and the third deadliest in America since Virginia Tech. Why do you go through all the hassle of getting this job? of putting yourself in a position of authority. If your answer is that as this slaughter increases, as our kids run for their lives, we do nothing. Well, the answer, I mean, what, what are we gonna do? The answer is nothing, because that's what historically we've done is absolutely nothing. And as Andy McCabe said, there's no reason to believe this is gonna change anything. Sandy Hook didn't move the needle. This is not gonna move the needle. And in the last 10 days, we've had elderly black people killed in a supermarket in Buffalo, we've had Asian churchgoers killed in Southern California, and now we have children murdered at school. When are we gonna do something? What are we doing? Why are you here? I mean, you've got people sitting in Congress right now, and not just in Washington, but in state houses around the country. They care more about money and care about their, pers their individual power then they care about my granddaughter, your kids, and any kid, any parent who happens to be watching this program right now. I'm tired. I'm, I'm so tired of getting up here and offering condolences to, to the devastated families that are out there. I'm so tired of the, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm tired of the moments of silence. Enough. There's 50 senators right now who refuse to vote on H.R. 8 which is a background check rule that the House passed a couple of years ago. It's been sitting there for two years. And there's a reason they won't vote on it, to hold on to power. Yet another shooting in this country. More outrage, more helplessness, knowing the pro-life party does not indeed care about the sanctity and preservation of life. All they care about is, as Golden State Warriors head coach Steve Kerr said, is endless finances from their corporate donors, specifically the gun lobby and the lust for endless power. CNN has reported the death count has now reached 21. 19 school children, two teachers. This comes just two days before summer break. It is the second deadliest shooting since Sandy Hook in 2012, another unspeakable tragedy that could have been prevented. We have an issue in this country, um, not only white supremacy, um, we also have a gun violence issue. Uh, and this is our, this is us using our platform, right? This game doesn't matter. The 18 lives that were lost today uh, from senseless gun violence in Texas at the elementary school, we're talking about our kids not being safe to go to school and our government is still not implementing sensible gun laws. Washington Mystic star Natasha Cloud addressed the media. This isn't about taking people's rights away from bearing arms. This is about putting sensible gun laws in so that this doesn't happen again. We cannot continue to make the same mistakes. We cannot continue to allow these things to happen in our country and nothing is being done with it for money, for profit. And guess what? She's right. You will see the usual song and dance of thoughts and prayers. We need more prayer. How dare you get mad at me when I lift up with prayer? I uplift with prayer. And well, by uplift, I mean I pretend to care. I use prayer as a distraction. Ha! Look at you, falling forward again. I'm sorry, do you think I care about kids getting mutated? Why would I care? Don't you see this money coming in? I gotta get a new boat. Shoot, might even purchase me a yacht with these funds from the gun lobby. Maybe I'll even rent a PJ. Who knows, sky's the limit for me. I mean, not, not for you, because your kids are dead, but me. <laughs> well, these, let me tell you, these checks won't cash themselves. More gun lobby money, more, 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 more. We know from past experience that the most effective tool for keeping kids safe uh, is armed law enforcement on the campus. Is that so, Ted? Then why didn't police stop this shooter, Raphael? Why, per local media, did the shooter make his way in? Furthermore, the shooter crashed his car, had a shootout, and still made it inside. Why didn't police follow him? Did they just give up? Did they sit in their squad cars to wait out the tragedy while kids were getting killed? But yes, let's give more money to them. That's a great plan. How about in Buffalo? where a retired police officer served as a security guard. His name is Aaron Salton Jr., by the way. He's a hero. 
And he should be alive today along with all the victims. Because you see, Salter pulled his trigger. But because of the warfare style tacticals that Republicans love using and enabling domestic extremists to purchase, well, it didn't last with the good guy with the gun, more police BS. This on-site logic is debunked. It has happened over and over again, and it happened yesterday. As athletes continue to speak up, as they should, there is still this feeling of hopelessness because Republicans are owned by the gun lobby. And as Cliff Schechter wisely wrote, as a reminder, we have zero proof, zero proof that gun laws work. You know, if you don't include Japan, the United Kingdom, Belgium, Canada, Iceland, Romania, Norway, Austria, Argentina, Netherlands, South Korea, Italy, Greece, Chile, France, Spain, Sweden, Singapore, Portugal, Israel, Denmark, Taiwan, Switzerland, Poland, Germany, Luxembourg, Malta, Australia, Estonia, Croatia, New Zealand, Ireland, Slovakia, Latvia, Slovenia, San Marino, Andorra, Monaco, Lithuania. Ignore all those obviously not applicable examples. And how, oh, how do we ever figure out this complex puzzle? 